I'm, I'm laughing with you, okay? We can make fun of other cultures. It's fine. It's funny. You know I'm... Mi jen vi le chon le pato Kanti te tishwosh le lato Pino ni war He ship an Eiffel Tower Mike's Music Method. Come on in, everybody. Today we are doing another fantastic Leonard Cohen song, The Partisan. It's been requested by a few different people. I don't know who. Just over the last uh, year or so, it's, it's popped up in the comment sections. This song is fantastic. It's actually easier than the Stranger song, I think. Um, it's But it's the exact same picking pattern. He's doing these triplets. This relentless P I M P I M P I M thumb, you know, index middle, really quick and fast. It is not a beginner song. It's also not Travis picked, but it's a fantastic technique. If you if you skipped on the Stranger song, don't skip on this one. Excellent picking song. And if you got the Stranger song down, you're gonna get this one down. Your fingers are gonna get faster, and maybe you'll even write a song stealing that same picking idea, and you'll be up there with the greats of Leonard Cohen. Um, so I have nothing else to say. It's not a beginner piece. So go to the Travis picking playlist if you're new to finger picking, but, um, it's a, it's a great song and, and there's not, there's not many like these early Cohen tunes. They are treasures. I love these tunes. And so let's just dive in and do it. Leonard Cohen, the partisan timestamps below. We're going to do a long kind of theory, not theory, a technique talk at the beginning. If you feel really confident about this already, just jump ahead. But let's do it. Let's do it. Boo! Time for some Leonard Cohen with our nerd glasses on. Because these studio lights are too bright and my eyes are tired. All right, technique. We're going to talk technique before we dive in. If you guys have watched my video on The Stranger Song by Cohen, you can skip this or watch it for a refresher. As always, timestamps down below. Use them. But technique is super important or you're never going to get this song up to speed. I'll link to a great video on posture and right hand technique. I'm not going to go explain every detail, so watch that video first, and then let's discuss. The first chord is an A minor, but let's talk all about the right hand, because the left hand in this song is easy. We're going to play, I'm just doing it open for now. We're going to play the fifth string with our thumb, but even before we do that, I have my pointer finger, my I, resting on the third string, and my middle finger, which we call M, Pima, are the fingers, P-I-M-A, so I got... P on the 5th string, I on the 3rd, and M on the 2nd. The other two don't matter, just leave them there relaxed. So we play the 5th string with our thumb. When I play I, what we're going for is the closing of our fist, and I'll give it to you from a few different angles here. What you're not seeing is me pulling up or away. The sensation is literally just closing my fist. Again, this isn't pulling up, you can see my finger disappear. Right? And if you're if this is new to you, you should really exaggerate where you end up with a total follow-through of that pointer finger actually touching the palm of your hand. Now am I actually doing that when I play? No, but it's good to get used to that sensation. The idea is you you just dropped your phone, right? You just took a big uh numero deuce in the in the toilet, and for some reason you got your phone in the bathroom with you, you idiot. And um it's <laughs> And it slips out of your hands and, and just think like how quickly would you reach for that new iPhone that you just spent like $1,500 on? How quickly would you, <laughs> would you snatch it? Would you close that hand? All right. So that's what we're going for here. It's a, that's the sensation. We don't want to be pulling up, tugging it on the string away from it. None of that. Um, and then, so we got P, we have I, and then we're going to do the same thing with M. It's just a closing of the fist. So after the I, the M closes. I. Now the second we do the M, it's harder than that. So get used to that first. Now the second we play the M, we have this compound motion where my thumb goes right back to the fifth string. I'm not going to play it, but I'm prepping. Right? We really want to be prepping. And you'll hear me dead in the string there. Right? You can hear the dong. I'm oh, sorry. And then it's dead. So the second I fire the I, at the same exact time, my thumb is going to the fifth string. Not to play it, but to touch it so it is prepared. We call that prep work. Because when you're playing super quick, 
you have to do more thing more than one thing at once or you're just never your fingers aren't going to catch up so i play i the second i play m my thumb's back here now the second i play the thumb on the fifth string the second time around and every other time so it's really only the first time that you don't do this but every time i play that thumb these two jump out into position so I play the thumb and those move out. That's gonna feel fairly awkward at first, but you wanna get used to that. Those two fingers jump out when I play my thumb, so they're ready to do I am again. The second I play M, my thumb's back here. The moment I play my thumb, these two go out. And you might have to do this tediously slow, just to get used to that sensation. And that's a good starting point. Watch that other video I recommended because if you're new to this style, it is blazing fast. Don't get discouraged. It's going to take months to get it up to Cohen speed, especially if this is new for you. I mean, it could take, I don't want to discourage you, but if you've never done any of this, it could take a year. But if you're really dedicated, sit down, watch some other videos on like right hand classical guitar technique. Um, that's going to help you. It, this is way different than Travis finger picking. And you want to make sure your form is really good or you're not going to be able to get these really quick rolls. And there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Could be your wrist is bent and all other such nonsense. So, so make sure you watch some videos on it. Don't develop too many bad habits. But between the one I recommended and what I just told you, you know, decent little starting point. But if you're really motivated, um, seek out some other videos. Watch some other guys explaining it and demoing it. Right hand classical guitar technique. Now we're just going to breeze through this song, all right? Long intro talk, but let's do it now. We've got an A minor chord, simple A minor, thumb, then as we discussed, pointer middle. And the thumb's just, I'm always doing three, two with the pointer in the middle, but the thumb moves around. So we've got five, three, two, four, three, two, six, three, two, back to four. Is five, four, six, four, with all these in between. Five, four, six, four. So that intro part loops a few times. It's a fade in on the live recording. And then we go to measure two, which is a C chord. And I'm just doing five, four. Right, those top fingers are always doing the same thing. Thumbs doing five, four. Then we go to, it's an E major, um, but we just have the B in the bass. So it's an E chord, but we do five, four. So C chord, five to four, then the E chord. And up to speed, that's going to be a quick transition. That's hard if you're getting discouraged, if you're having trouble. My advice is you've got to make the thing a prayer. Just And if, if you can't make it a prayer, that's probably because you're not praying enough, all right? Get up early or before you go to bed, get in the habit of calming yourself down, thanking your Creator, our, our Lord Jesus Christ, that you're here, that you're alive. Be grateful. Mellow out. Don't worry about tomorrow. Like it says in the Beatitudes, go read the Beatitudes. Relax. And then pick up your guitar. And with that same gratitude and calm and determination you do your finger picking all right now that you're lifted up don't be so hard on yourself it is very hard this is a very hard song it's hard to do that technique like i said many times in this video it's going to take a while but i know you can do it if you're getting frustrated comment below the community will lift you up right guys right yeah, right we will we will send me an email if you get frustrated and curse at me say mean things about me in the email and then we i'll help you all right let's keep going Measure three, we've got it back to the A minor. Exactly the same as the beginning. Five, four, six, four. Measure four, back to the C, to the E. So in other words, we have all that intro on A minor, and then the verse begins. C, E, A minor. C, E, A minor. So I just gave you a measure five there as well, because it's back to the A minor. Then we go to six, and it's a little different here. We start on a C chord, and he stays on it. Five, four, five. 
And now this one's hard to tell. There are many moments in the recording and live where in order to transition to the next chord, and this one he moves all the way up to a G chord as a bar chord, he just lifts it up and he does open, open, open. Because it's so quick that he can't, like he can't make the change fast enough. So he does a C chord. Five, four, five, four. But the last three notes are open, those triplets, so. Open, but you're using that time to prepare to get to the next chord, which is in measure seven, just a G chord as a bar chord. And here the pattern is six, four, five, four. So we finally get that low six string. Six, four, five, four. Measure eight is the same thing lifts up the ending again to get open, open, open on 4, 3, 2. So measure 8 again. Lift it. The donation pitch. Guys, if you are getting value from this channel, please consider giving some back. I put a lot of time and my expertise into these uh, videos and also getting you like what I think is the most accurate tab on the internet. I obsess with putting my headphones on and sit there note for note transcribing. So if you guys understand the, the value and the talent, that I'm putting into this channel, please consider giving some back. Um, the more you guys give, then the more time I'm able to put into the channel, which means your contribution is helping me pump out more videos and content to more people. And my promise to you always is no paywall. So by you pitching in, you're buying me time to make these videos and keep them free for everybody on the internet. You know, young kid who's, you know, not even working at some 14 year old can find this channel, learn from it without having to harass his parents for money. <laughs> um, or if you're, you yourself are hard on times and don't have the money for private lessons or whatever, here you go. This is for you and all of my patrons and people donating on PayPal. Thank them as well. Don't just thank me. I have it amazing. I have over 100 people every month chipping in some amount, whether it be a dollar or $50 a month. You know, whatever you, however you find value in these videos, it's up to you to decide. Before moving on, let's go really slow from the top just to make sure you guys are feeling a little bit of the flow here. But we're like almost done with the song already. So we've got A minor, two, three, four, triple, triple. And this is a fade in. Let's do it two more times. I'll go even slower. Remember, we're going to do all that prep work. Then a C chord. Auctioning off these nerd glasses to the highest bidder. So comment down below. All right, we got a bidder for $750 in the back there down below in the comment section. We do $750. We're going once, going twice. Ah, nah. Whew. Measure nine, we're on an F chord, just a big bar chord. So we lifted up that G and go down to an F. And it's six, four, five, four. Same as always. Then measure 10, six, four, five. Another one of these moments where if you're comfortable keeping the chord down, you can keep it down there or lift it open. That's up to you and your ability to change through the chords quick enough. I'll, I'll leave that one up to you. I, I can hold it down because we're going to a C chord afterwards and that F already is pretty similar, right? We already have our ring finger down on the note C. So it's a simpler transition than jumping all the way up to that G. And then we're on 11, which is that C chord. And it's just simple. Five, four, five, four. Then measure 12, he goes to the E. Here it's a little different. Again, the live recording, studio moments. It's, sometimes it's slightly different. But it's an E7. So he actually has his ring finger up. Because I'm definitely hearing five, four. And that four is open, right? So it's just an E seven chord, right? Just the two fingers. Five, four, six, four. Again, if you want to do that six string on the fifth, 
That's okay, you can change the bass note. But I, I think I'm hearing it low there. Five, four, six, four. At least sometimes he's doing that. Then back to A minor. It's the same as the intro. Five, four, six, four. And it does that for measure 13, 14, 15, and 16. And that is the entire song. We already did it. Remember to really practice your prep work. No joke, maybe for a week you're taking it this slow and just getting that thumb ready. Getting the two fingers ready, getting the thumb ready. Be very meticulous about it, all right? Don't rush this song. I want you guys to learn properly, not uh, fatigue your hand, and just learn the right way once so you don't have to double back and break, relearn, break all your bad habits. Cigarette. But before we do our slow run-throughs, let's sing the thing. Remember, Cohen is tuned lower than we are here, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, what I usually recommend, I've talked about this in other videos. I should release a video just talking about this. Uh, but we just play the chords first. Don't worry about the finger picking and get the melody that way. Uh, you start on the A minor. When they pulled across the border I was cautioned to surrender This I could not do Just make sure you're playing the G like this so you get used to the voicings. I took my gun and vanished And this is something like, um, you can just write the chords down or, you know, go, I hate ever recommending this place, but just search Cohen chords and you can just play through it that way or write my chords down what, whatever's easy but that's the idea and then we'll do it singing when they poured across the border I was cautioned to surrender this I could not do I took my gun and vanished For me, this one isn't that hard to sing and play because I have this down to muscle memory. I don't really know what tips to give on this one except to just practice the right hand a whole bunch. Uh, when they pull, when they pull across the border, yeah, if I overthink it, it makes it harder. Just a lot of right hand and make sure you have the phrasing down just with the strumming. Um, that's what I recommend. Get to work. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks for the, the non-advice. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Our slow run through from the top. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Let's do it two more times. A little bit slower. That speed for me is I can prep at that speed, but if you can't, go to your settings, bring it down to 0.75, and see if you can do all the proper prepping and just get in the habit of doing that. And we'll do one more slow run through a little quicker, just to, you want to do some speed bursts once in a while, but don't make a habit of going beyond your range if you start to cramp or 
feel weird, slow the F down, okay? Um, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. For all of you who speak French, correct me, I may make some subtle mistakes here. Les Allemandes et tes chaises moi, ils me diront racing toi, mais je ne passe peur. J'ai repris ma nom. Chat change. I'm having too much fun.